Hi, I'm Stephen with albertaurbangarden.ca. Throughout the course of our testing garden assumption series, I've been asked a number of different times if wood ash can be used as a soil amendment in a vegetable garden. This interested me, as I will often add the ash from my small fire pit into my compost, as it is something that I have seen my family do in the past. Today I thought I would investigate the practice of using wood ash in the garden to see if we can turn this potential waste product that is usually heading to a landfill into something a little more useful in our gardens. So our general hypothesis today is that wood ash does have a benefit when used in a vegetable garden. In order to investigate this a little further, we're going to have to ask some more specific questions. The first, is wood ash a fertilizer? The University of Wisconsin Extensions produced an information bulletin on the use of wood ash as an agricultural amendment and substitute for lime. In their research, they sampled 16 ash samples from local sources and found 12 of the 15 commonly tested for elements that are essential or beneficial for plant growth. Notably, there were significant concentrations of calcium, magnesium, phosphorus, and potassium, all nutrients required by plants in higher concentrations. They did find some elements that if in higher concentrations could become toxic. That said, the concentrations were low enough that you would expect to find these elements in the same concentrations in soil naturally. So it does appear that wood ash can be used as a fertilizer, but most notably, it is lacking one of the essential elements, nitrogen, which is lost during the burning process. There are many studies out there that take a look at the use of wood ash in commercial crop production. They're able to correlate the use of wood ash with an increase in production. This is most often the case when they're dealing with an acidic soil, using the wood ash to raise the pH to a more neutral state, which is preferred by these crops. This leads me to my next question. Will wood ash change the pH of my garden soil? Well, the answer is yes. Wood ash is very effective at changing pH. Many sources cite the use of wood ash as a replacement for lime in agricultural practices. The purpose of which is to raise the pH from often acidic conditions to near neutral or a pH of 7. This is done to bring the soil pH into the optimal range for the crop. Having the pH of the soil close to optimal allows the crop to access available nutrients, resulting in higher yields. If the pH of the soil is outside the optimal range, the nutrients contained within it may not be available to the plants. With that in mind, most of the common crops grown in backyard gardens prefer a pH on the acidic side of the scale. Crops such as tomatoes, spinach, peppers, and peas grow optimally in a pH range between 5.5 and 7.0. The use of wood ash directly into the garden soil may have a detrimental effect impacting things like nutrient availability. Even if used in the mulch layer, the particle size of wood ash is generally very, very small, making it very easy for it to move into the soil and exert an effect immediately. This is in contrast to other materials like coffee grounds and pine needles that although are acidic, they have to break down before they can influence the soil's pH, and have often neutralized their acidity by the time they can do that. The buffering capacity of your garden soil will likely over time neutralize the alkalinity found within the wood ash. However, quick changes in pH can have disastrous effects on your crops. A quick drop or increase in pH over one point can cause nutrient absorption issues, kill or severely harm the beneficial organisms within your soil, and even burn the roots of your plants. So the use of wood ash in a mulch layer, unless you know your soil is extremely acidic, is probably not the best course of action. So if you can't use it in a mulch layer, is there a way that you can take this product that would otherwise be heading to landfill and use it successfully in your garden? There have been a number of studies that have looked at the effect of using wood ash in compost and its effect on the pH of the finished compost. The results vary, likely due to the pH of the initial compost material. Most studies found that with a maximum application of wood ash, around 16% by volume, the finished compost ends with a pH near neutral. At the beginning of the composting process, the pH would start high due to the ash. However, over time, the pH drops and often settles in the optimal range for vegetable gardens before the composting process is completed. This is consistent with the neutralization of more acidic materials in hot composts, such as spent coffee grounds. They tend to start with a much more acidic pH. However, through the composting process, they neutralize as well. There are claims that ash, in combination with other materials, and by itself, have pest management qualities. The research, however, varies significantly, and 
With my passive methods that I've used for pest management in my garden, I don't find I actually need to actively manage any pests throughout the growing season. In summary, wood ash can be used very effectively in the vegetable garden as a fertilizer. However, it is recommended that you incorporate it into a hot compost, allowing it time to neutralize before application. If you would like to catch up on the Testing Garden Assumptions series, where we put products, processes, and methods to the test, make sure to check out the playlist that's on screen now. If I have not addressed a topic, please make sure to suggest it in the comments below. Thank you very much for joining me today. I appreciate it very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day.